If you buy a lot of things from online retailers, you may want to get your shopping done before June. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments in a case that could make it a lot easier for states to collect sales taxes. Right now, when you buy from online-only retailers like Amazon, eBay, or Etsy, in many cases, you don't pay a sales tax. But as Esme Murphy shows us, an unusual coalition, including President Trump and Minnesota's Democratic Attorney General Lori Swanson, is asking the Supreme Court to change that. The fact that Internet retailers for years have avoided sales taxes is widely blamed for the closings of retail stores here and across the country. The current law is based on a 1967 and 1992 Supreme Court rulings that say if a retailer does not have a brick and mortar store in a state, it does not have to pay sales tax. I'm not sure if the Supreme Court's going to change their mind. I think the best argument is the fact that what? Times have changed, and therefore the, the reality that underpinned that original rules back in 67 and 92 are essentially dinosaurs. President Trump personally has lobbied for change, saying on Twitter, Amazon is doing great damage to taxpaying retailers. Towns, cities, and states throughout the U.S. are being hurt, many jobs being lost. Minnesota's DFL Attorney General Lori Swanson has joined 42 other states with a friend of the court brief urging the Supreme Court to make it easier for states to collect sales taxes. And for Minnesota, a lot is at stake. A 2017 federal report says a change would mean Minnesota could collect more than $200 million more in sales taxes every year. Minnesota's two retail giants, Target and Best Buy, both sent a statement saying they want a level playing field. Best Buy CEO saying, quote, we have worked for years as part of a broad coalition of large and small retailers to close the loopholes that give online-only retailers up to a 10% price advantage. The Supreme Court ruling is not expected until June, but even if the high court doesn't make a change in the law, Minnesotans will eventually have to pay more. That's because a new state law will go into effect in July of 2019 that will require that sales tax be collected on most Internet sales. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News.